Amanda Spock here with Maximum Muscle Report. We're at the 2017 Arizona Pro. No surprise here. Tough lineup. Very, very tough lineup. But a top five Olympian. Jen, you walk away with the win. I am speechless. It's um, an amazing experience. It was a great show, but um, it was really, really good momentum going into next week. So obviously, coming off the stage into a high, I just wanted to focus on Arizona. Now it's time to focus on the big one. There you go. Now, this was actually a really good lineup. Mm -hmm. Two of you that are top girls finish one and two. Again, that's why I say no surprise. Um, it's still You still have to win. But there was a lot of young girls that looked fantastic. Yes. Your division is really starting to explode. But segue into getting ready for next week. Mm -hmm. Something that doesn't really happen, the defending champ isn't going to be competing. Yeah, unfortunately. Unfortunately, we wish you the best. Speedy Miss recovery. Um, but the door's wide open. Absolutely. What's your mindset right now? Um, I'm going into next week focused, did a little bit of different hair, different look, testing it out today, and obviously it did pay off, but um, just going in there, running and screaming for, you know, first place, second place, whatever it is, but, um, you know, really giving it my all. The door's wide open. It's a time to seize the opportunity, so I'm ready. Now, let's bring in the bikini guru. Where is he at? Because that's what you are. Oh, the one and only, Kim. What is it that you saw? Because you, you, you took over, was it a year ago? Mm -hmm. um, she was a little bit, she was, she was a tweener. She was a tweener. She was borderline figure. And you took over and the physique really changed. Nobody could tell looking at you now that you were a tweener nine months 12 months ago what did you do how did you do it and what did she do to, to be able to make that change so fast well you know i remember seeing her in pittsburgh and i didn't know who she was and i was sitting there and watching all the girls and she came out and i was like wow she got a lot of potential but, oh my god those legs she <laughs> <laughs> got some quads so a lot of times when you work with athletes and you know honestly as trainers we're only as good as our clients allow us right. to be you marry up hard work with knowledge and then it's fun to see what can happen so it was just showing her different techniques you know things to get away from things she was doing that was filling and rounding and creating more lean muscle to her lower body and bringing it down so the balance came in top to bottom and so we went into fast twitch fiber stuff and we went into things to bring her her shape down and then improve the glutes to make the glutes balance from the backside. So we started to tie all the little parts of the puzzle in. So it's when you look and you see all these parts and you're like, your mind goes, ooh, that, that, that. And then you bring them all together. And when you bring them together, then the picture is a complete picture. And so she's worked hard. She really has. Because that's sometimes coming down is mentally as hard and harder than going up. Right. And so you have to reframe your mind so that it's like, okay, I, I got to go this direction if I want to be successful to marry up to what they're doing with bikini. So, so Jen, you know, listening to the conversation to the bikini guru, <laughs> you, can, you can hear the artistry mixed with the science and you can't tell, unless you're paying close attention, where the art starts and the science ends. Mm -hmm. He really just blends everything together. Is that really what you needed before to put everything together to move forward? Because you were obviously a really good athlete. Mm -hmm. And you had a great physique. But by listening to that conversation... Was that the difference for you? Yeah, like I had the mentality like bigger, harder, faster, stronger. Like I was trying to lift heavy and I thought that's where I needed to go. And it was, you know, turning my physique into a different direction. So Kim changed, you know, the diet, the training, the way that I trained my mentality to, all right, let's like reel it back in. And, um, you know, it's, it's absolutely worked. I listen to Kim, everything that he tells me to do, I do. He knows that. And so it's, it's really paid off and, you know, I've done nothing but great things working with Kim. Well, you guys have a winning combination going on here. Obviously mm -hmm. we wish both of you nothing but the best of luck next Thank week. You. I'm sure we're going to be doing another interview next week. It's just 
Where will it be? Will it? Are we looking at your new Miss Olympia? Is she going to be in the top five? We don't know. We expect somewhere in the top three. Until next time, guys, the guru, the champ, Amanda Spalko, Maximum Muscle Report, we're out.